What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you what's inside my bathroom bag. This is gonna be your best friend. It's a lifesaver, I love it. This has everything you need to go to the bathroom in a public bathroom. You could be at the beach trying to go to the bathroom and you look down and you're like, ew, this is so disgusting. There's no seat coverage, but I really gotta go. Or you could be a situation where your toddler has to go to the bathroom and it's really disgusting. You're in a public restroom at a restaurant I got you covered. You need to go. Number two, we all do it. I got you covered. Whatever the situation or scenario is for going to the bathroom in public, I've got you covered. If you're interested in watching videos like this, I do a lot more kit building. They call me the kit queen here. I build kits that are super useful on the go. I also do packing videos. I like being prepared. So if you're into that, definitely come over and hang out with me. I know you're gonna love the channel. I am very detail oriented and I'm a little bit of an overpacker. So if that's you as well, you found your soul sister. Now, this bag, you guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be a lifesaver. So without further ado, if you guys are interested in watching this video, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, this is amazing. This is a bottle bag. It is insulated. I got it off of Amazon. I think I even got it with a diaper bag, but I know you can buy these separately. So if you guys need a bottle bag, it is. That's what it is. But I just like how small it is. You can slide it. For example, this was the last video that I did. You can just slide it into your bag and you're good to go. Slide it into your backpack, put it in your diaper bag, and it's insulated. So everything in here is going to stay nice and cool. But I added this little clip on there. Okay. This is such a good little clip, you guys. This comes in a pack of multiple different ones. I actually showed this in two video goes, I believe. It was my purse refill kit. If you guys want to see that, I'll link it down below and up above for you. But it just zips around here like this. On the top here, we have a little bidet. This is on the go, you can use it in a water bottle. Let me show you, one second. So like this bottle is a tight squeeze, but you want it to be, you don't want it to pop off in the toilet and you lose it. Sorry, that noise is obnoxious. And then you squirt it out. Woo! <laughs> and then it squirts. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have did that. <laughs> so anyways, this is an on the go bidet. So you wanna freshen up, you're feeling funky, and you need this, I got you, girl. We also have wipes in here that I'll show you in a second, but this is nice too. If your toddler goes to the bathroom, it's a mess, this will help. Okay, next up we have toilet paper. Of course, gotta have the toilet paper. Then we have flushable wipes. Okay, gotta have the flushable wipes. Next product is poopery. I actually have a bigger one that I decanted into this beautiful little pink bottle. Then we have seat covers. These exact ones aren't available. I've had these for years. Um, I bought like a huge pack on Amazon, but there are so many. You could just buy a huge pack, keep them on hand, and you'll have them for a lifetime. Then we have feminine products. I just keep them in this little sleeve here, and I just refill them. Then we have soap. Definitely don't want to run out of soap. I also have these little expanding towels I put in this little zipper bag here. So if you need to really scrub your hands or something, that will be in here as well. And then this bottle is for sanitizer. So I have the soap here, but if you feel like using sanitizer, you can use this instead. Okay, next up we have all the wipes. Clorox wipes, gotta have this. I will give you guys close up of how I put everything inside the bag. Then we have wet ones, just in case you need to wipe your hands. You don't wanna use a towel, you want a quick wet one, you can have that. And then we have booty wipes. Gotta have booty wipes. This keeps you nice and fresh. Wipe your booty, keep it clean. <laughs> but no, really, if you are on the go and you just don't feel clean, use these. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how I organize everything in here. I'm gonna put it all back in the bag. This was a short and sweet video, but I wanted to show you guys what this is because I think it's such a good thing to have in the car, on the go. We are always out doing activities. If you guys don't know, I'm a full-time RVer, so something like this is really important. I hope this is useful to you guys. Let me know if it is. I'm gonna show you guys how I put it in the bag and I'm gonna put it in other little zipper pouches and I'm gonna label it. This is key. If you guys want to remember what's in here, don't use your brain for that. Don't don't trust your brain <laughs> because 
I forget. I have four kids. I'm on the go. And there's so many other things you're trying to remember. Labeling things makes you remember what goes in there. And then that way you know what to refill and all of that. So super helpful. This is the bag again. I'm going to wedge everything inside of here. And I kind of just stack everything on top of each other. I have not labeled them yet, but I'm going to for sure. And it's kind of tall, so there's a couple things that I need to stack on top of each other. But I just stick all of the bulkier round items in the center and I wrap the larger one around it and stick it inside. Now it's just a matter of taking all of the little clear baggies and putting them in the front of everything else. I love these clear baggies, you guys. You know I swear by them. That was actually my top seller on Amazon was these little clear baggies. So definitely get a set. You will use them for everything. You guys already know I love stacking everything like file folders so you can see them. Once everything's labeled, you'll be able to flip through them very easily because you're going to put your label at the top. Then I'm just going to grab the poopery and the sanitizer and I'm going to stick those in the side. I like the shape of this bag, you guys, because you can kind of wedge things in there that are round. It makes it a lot easier. And then I just stick the smaller things on top. You do not see the bidet thing in here. I do stick that in here as well, right on top of everything. Next up, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite bathroom tips when you are using a public restroom, whether you're traveling. The first tip is to always use the first stall. They have done studies on the bacteria and the first stall is always the cleanest. Another thing I check when I get to that stall is, do they have toilet paper and do they have toilet seat covers? So important. You won't have to worry about that if you bring the kit, but just in case you don't, I wanted to share these tips with you. If they do not have toilet seat covers, I use paper towels. Yes, paper towels. I want it to be thick toilet paper doesn't stay on and they should stock it with toilet seat covers also never ever use these dryers you guys they are full of bacteria they are disgusting so many studies on those also I want to show you the proper way to put down your toilet seat covers I know that sounds weird but a lot of people don't realize you have to put one in the front and then I put another layer on top the front layer is so when you pull your pants down your pants that go on your private parts aren't touching the toilet and sometimes I even do a third layer if it's real nasty so you you gotta do what you gotta do. Next up, if they do not have paper towels, I'm not using that dryer thing. I grab one of those seat covers. Honestly, it dries, it works really well. I do it all the time. Stock your bathrooms, people. I don't understand why stores don't keep things stocked. I feel like it's so important. Everybody goes to the bathroom. Another thing too, if there's no paper towels, there's no seat covers, I use toilet paper. It works good because it's not like beautiful, soft toilet paper. It feels like a paper towel. So I use that, it doesn't stick to me. And then also, so another thing I do as I'm walking out the door and I dry my hands with paper towels, I do not throw it directly into the garbage can. I first open the door handle with the paper towels and then I throw it in the garbage can. Usually the garbage can is right by the door, which is perfect. So I know these seem simple, but sometimes people don't know. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was inside my bathroom bag. If you have not signed up for my newsletter, go down below. You will see all of my videos that are upcoming. Nobody else gets to see my schedule but you. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, the secret emoji is a toilet. Leave me a toilet emoji down below and let me know that you've made it all the way to the end. It really benefits my channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.